What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Street Fighter 6. Now whether you're new to fighting games or the franchise in general, Street Fighter 6, first of all, is amazing, but also can seem kind of like a lot, especially in the beginning. So I'm gonna take you through all the modes and all the game mechanics to help you better understand how this game works and how to get better right from the get-go. Let's get into it. Take it one step at a time. So first things first, my dude, you're gonna wanna subscribe here for more content because we have new videos Monday and Friday and we stream at least twice a week. And who doesn't want more content? So one of the first modes you're probably gonna go through is World Tour. This is where you can create your own avatar and kind of explore the world of Street Fighter. You're gonna get a thousand texts from Luke's with missions and stuff like that. So this is where you're gonna literally just explore the world of Street Fighter. You can fight random strangers like, hey, sir, you wanna fight me right now? And this guy's like, yeah, sure, I'll fight you, fam. So we're just gonna go and we're gonna kick this guy's butt. This is also where you can learn for other masters like Chun-Li, like Luke and others. So that way you can get their moves for your avatar and honestly just have a blast exploring the world. It's kind of like an RPG in a fighting game. Next here we have the Battle Hub and this is gonna be one of your main sources for online gameplay. If you're not doing, you know, the casual or ranked sets, get into a server and get in there. So this is the Battle Hub. You can go up here, you can meet opponents at these cabinets and say, come fight me. If I wanna wait at this cabinet for my opponent, I could, but also down here we have our our avatar battle so this guy here mr cyber fox this really cool looking dude he's wanting to do an avatar battle but that's why you want to do world tour to get your avatar leveled up and get their special moves the way you want them then come here and request avatar battles and just have a blast doing that and just see what kind of crazy avatars people have built out there or just do standard fights they also have extreme battles over here and if you guys haven't done extreme battles they are insane they have different roles they have different mods like bulls coming across the screen or big bomb guys dropping down it's a really good way to shake up your normal game play and just have fun with it. I actually really enjoy extreme battles. Now, also over here in the corner here, so over here we had the hub goods shop. So this is where you can literally shop for kind of cosmetics to fit your character. As you can see, I'm not really a fashionable guy in this game. I don't really care, but you can go shopping here if you wish to, to spice up your avatar. Quick side note, you can change the server that you're in. So here on the pause menu, we have servers and you can go here and kind of go to any server you want. So we can select server North America and we can choose our server. So if you want to go to an unincrowded server and have your buddies meet you up in server you know 38 because it's super uncrowded hey guys meet me in 38 and we'll have all the cabinets to ourselves you can do that and then the third and final mode here fighting ground has so much to offer here we have the stories so you can play through the story of street fighter 6 you can practice and do training your versus 1v1s special matches like extreme battles and of course online rank casual and more now that's all over with let's go ahead and go over the mechanics of the game and how everything here works you might be a little bit fumbled on like what's going on on here on the screen so first thing that you have to know is street fighter 6 has what's called the drive system so you see that bar up there by our health we had six bars that is our drive and drive goes into a lot of things in this game now i'm going to cover it all for you so one of the first things that drive can do is you can actually enhance your special moves for different properties and some even do more damage when they're enhanced so for an example we have luke's uppercut right so we have this move here if we want to enhance it and Luke is a bit special. He can enhance his moves twice. So if he really wanted to, we can enhance the special uppercut and do it again for the slam dunk move. Those properties enhancing that even twice uses our bars from our drive meter. So keep in mind, you only have six bars for drive meter. They do refill over time. But as you use your bars for these things we're going over, you can go into burnout, which we'll go over in a minute, but you can go into burnout pretty fast sometimes. So you see here, we're low on drive meter. So what if we do something that requires our bar? Let's do it. You see now we're empty. We're kind of grayed out now. What this what this means for us is we are in burnout. You can't use any of your enhancements, any of the properties that the dry bar gives you for quite some time. As you can see, we're getting refilled over time, but this is a long time in an actual battle. So you're gonna see as we're in burnout, one of the worst things that can happen to you is get drive impacted, which we'll go over in a minute. In the corner, the reason why is as we enter this like day stance, basically opening up ourselves for a free combo and just get absolutely Absolutely wrecked. So as burnout is the threat for using all of your drive bar, you really don't want to do that. So it's kind of like a, okay, get low on your bar, but don't use it all because then you're going to enter burnout state and that's not good. So besides enhancing our special moves like this, what else can we do? There's a couple properties that using the drive bar has. You got drive parry, drive impact, drive rush, and drive reversal. And we'll go over all of them. So the first thing you want to see is drive parry. Every character has these properties, by the way. So every character has drive 
drive parry impact reversal and rush the first one drive parry you see here luke we're gonna enter drive parry state and we do this you see how we're glowing here what does that even mean what does this even do so if we enter it what we can do is we can just take our opponent's hits we're holding it down you can hold it as you see here we're not taking any of the damage and now we can punish our opponent for doing so so it's not a bad option if your opponent's trying to zone you out like this just to parry your opponent's projectiles get close to them and just parry those projectiles there is a thing called perfect parrying so if you parry i think it's within like the three or four frames of the move connecting you get a perfect parry and what this does this kind of reverses the tables so now it's your turn and you get a free combo as long as you're fast enough i'll show you what it looks like So that slow motion time, that tells us, okay, perfect parry, do what you want. Now the mechanic you might have seen already in the gameplay is this kind of move here where every character gets like you know, surrounded by their paint and they go in for this strong hit and what that is, that is drive impact. And what does drive impact do? It actually allows you to go through your opponent's hits and if you do it on a punish, you get a free combo off and I'll show you how that looks. So let's say our opponent's going for a hit, we go for a drive impact, we punish them, boom, free combo now. But even if your opponent is blocking, they'll get pushed back from that drive impact hit. You'll see there, we kind of push Ryu off of us. Now what's cool about that is if you do it in the corner like this, they'll get pushed back into the wall of the corner, giving you a wall slump, basically giving you another free combo. Now, if you're fast enough and you see your opponent do their drive impact, so you see the paint go around them, you got about, I think it's like 25, 30 frames to react to that. If you're fast enough, your drive impact will actually beat your opponent's drive impact, punishing them, giving you the free combo. So here's how that looks. As you saw, we reacted to our opponent's drive impact. We did our drive impact, beat theirs, got a free combo off. That's a great way to turn the tables as well. So, so far we've gone over the drive parry, the perfect parry, and of course drive impact, how it affects you in the middle of the screen and even against the wall, and how it affects you when you're on burnout and you get drive impact. It's not very smart to spam if you really want to like go through and try like, oh, I'm gonna spam this move. Cause it does get two hits of armor. So I've seen players try to spam it. I would not recommend that it is a very punishing punishable move and it's reactable so again as i just showed you if you do it too much your opponent sees that they'll just react to it do their own drive impact and then punish you now another one that is kind of uh more of an advanced mechanic is drive rushing you can do it by standard and you can do it in combos which is called rush canceling and again it's something to work on something you probably might not be getting down day one but it is a great mechanic to work on as you try to get better so i'll just show you how it looks first we're kind of standing here you see we can dash forward normally sure but we can also drive rush as you saw, we got to our opponent way faster and from further away. So that is drive rush. You saw that it uses one bar. And how you do it, you just parry and then double tap forward. If you're fast enough, a quick tip as I found, you can do forward parry forward really fast and that works. You can do drive rush in combos. As long as your opponent is high enough, you can just do forward parry forward, hit them before they land. It takes some practice, but it's definitely worth it. Now, while you're in practice mode, I want you to go to screen display settings, go down to cancel timing display and turn that on. The reason why is with that on and you're doing moves with your character, it shows you, see how we glowed red there on these moves we're doing here. Glowing red means that move is cancelable. And what that means to be cancelable, it means you can kind of just go into another move such as a drive rush or another special or even a super move. But for this ultimate beginner's guide, what that really means means for you when it comes to drive rushing is you can rush cancel from those moves that are cancelable so for an example our down crouching kick here that's cancelable so what does that mean for us and this goes of course for any moves that are cancelable but i'm going to show you how it looks here you can drive rush by not pressing parry but when that move connects you press forward forward you're going to rush now the downfall of doing that it does use three bars instead of one doing outside of a combo so if we drive rush to our opponent that was one bar of meter now if we do it by actually hitting them and rush canceling that uses three bars so i'll just show you how that looks by itself that uses three bars now if you're fast enough you can continue that combo from that rush cancel 
a simple one but just kind of to show you an example of how that looks to kind of hit rush cancel hit into a combo it can be useful especially towards the end of the game where you don't mind maybe going into burnout for those three bars and you know you're going to win from that combo extension but honestly i really wouldn't recommend it too much of the time a lot of players like luke's and reuse and kens and marissa's tend to really kind of be wanting to do the rush cancel a lot in their combos but then they get burned out pretty fast which is just not good for you again that takes some time to really get used to and not rush cancel but you can drive rush in combos like i showed you earlier this rush you're gonna see is not us just double tapping forward our opponent is in the air for so long we have time to do you know parry forward forward drive rush and do a cancelable move before they land but again, that takes practice. So we have drive parry, drive impact, drive rushing. That also can be rush canceled. And now we have drive reversal, which is honestly not used that much online. But it is something you want to be aware of, of course. It's more of a defensive mechanic, which is nice. To explain it, while you're in blocks, and so you're blocking your opponent's moves, right? You can press forward and drive impact at the same time, and that gives you the drive reversal. I'll show you how that looks. We'll block our opponent's moves. I will press forward and drive impact at the same time. You'll see the drive reversal happen it doesn't do the full animation of a drive impact it more or less just gets your opponent off you So you see there, it's kind of like a quick drive impact in the middle of their combo. Again, it's more or less just to get them off you real quick. As you saw, it basically uses almost a full three bars to do that. So again, it's it's kind of like a last resort. It uses your bars to just get them off you. And if you're low on bar already, you might be entering burnout from that. So it's kind of a trade-off. Do you want to do that for that reason or just parry and go for the perfect parry? There's a lot of defensive options you have. You can go with drive impact, drive reversal, go for the perfect parry to turn the table. A lot of options. So those are the drive mechanics. You got drive parry, drive impact, drive rush, rush cancel, drive reversal, and of course the drive meter can also enhance your special moves. So you can see how you're probably going to be using a lot of the drive bar throughout the fight. Now the last thing I want to go over is the super moves. So every character has three super moves. A lot of them are just good fun combos. They do good damage for you. So for an example for a jury. Super Art number one is just a nice combo that does a good amount of damage for us. And every character's Super Art three is a lot of damage and a really cool animation. So for Jury, you know, this is how it looks. But every character has the three that looks just super cool. It's a true like super move, you know? Now the thing to keep in mind is some characters like Jury, like Blanca, like Jamie, their super art two is actually an install. What that means, rather than do just a ton of damage at one time, it basically enhances the character as a whole. For an example, for Jury here, so what that means for Jury, for an example, we're going to super art two here. As you see, no major combo happening, but we're glowing with our pink eye there. This allows us to link together normals and special moves that aren't normally linkable. So just for a quick example, our heavy kick into our back heavy kick they don't go together into a true combo like we have to stop our opponent has time to block between those two hits but if we're in super r2 for a jury for an example no major combo happens but we can link together our, our normal moves like i said so we can do back and then forward and then a special move and that all goes together as a single true combo so basically jury super r2 allows you to essentially create your own combos however you want to it's just a bit different than most super r 2s are so that's just something to keep in mind that some characters have that you don't really want to just throw out your super moves they are very punishable if blocked i would recommend doing them in a combo so they can't be blocked so if i do my four kicks and i see they hit then i'm going to cancel into my super r3 so that way i know it hits see how we did that there we saw the hit confirm and then we did our super r3 so that way we knew that it was gonna hit because if we just throw it out there like this and we get blocked Oh, we are gonna get punished. There is a ton more to go over in Street Fighter 6. I have tons of beginner guides for all the characters and of course tips and tricks videos. Go check those out right here. I hope this video helped you at least have a foundation on where to start for Street Fighter 6. If it did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe here for more content. I will see you in the next video and or stream. And until then, just take it one step at a time.